Hello and welcome to Wilson's Barbecue. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the most out of your leftover barbecue and go from having cold bits of random meat in the fridge to this. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to follow the steps in this video is go out and buy a vacuum sealer. So they're not very expensive. I paid about 30 pounds or 40 US dollars for mine. I'll put a link in the description below as to where you can buy the one that I have, uh, but you can spend as much or as little as you want on it. The reason why I recommend a vacuum sealer is because I like to think of it as freezing the meat in time. Um, it's the best possible way to store your food. It sucks out all of the air. Uh, when you put it into the freezer, it prevents uh, freezer burn and putting food in the freezer uh, where air can get to it can actually draw out moisture. So I really recommend going out, buying a vacuum sealer. Uh, they normally come with the vacuum sealed bag so you'll have everything to go ready straight out of the box. Um, and once you've cooked your barbecue, let it cool down, stick it into a vacuum bag, seal it up, let it cool, put it into the freezer, and that will last for six months to 12 months, and you'll be ready to cook up some barbecue as and whenever you want. So we've got some leftover sausage, um, it, they're jalapeno and cheese. We've got some leftover Creekstone Farms brisket from my five fundamental brisket video. I've got some pulled pork and I've also got a beef rib. So the first thing we're going to put into the pot is the nice piece of brisket and I've got a nice beef rib here. So I'm going to put the beef rib in and what we'll do is take that over to the sink and fill it up with cold water. Next thing we're going to do is put in our pork uh, and then we've got our sausage as well. So we're just going to pop that in and do exactly the same, fill it with cold water, and then we'll get it onto the stove top. So we've got our brisket and our beef rib in, to, in the large pot. Um, I've got the flame on high, just waiting for a, a nice simmer. Um, I've got my pulled pork, which I'll probably look to knock down in a bit once it softens up to make sure it's all submerged. And then I've got my sausage in there ready to go. So we'll let that go probably 20 minutes or so, once it gets up to a good boil uh, or low simmer, or high simmer, sorry, we'll turn that back down to a medium and probably let it go for about an hour. So the meats have been on for about an hour now. Just as important when you initially cook them, you need to take them out to rest. So I'm gonna take the brisket out now. I'm gonna use my thermopen to make sure that it's at a safe temperature and you need to do that with all of the meats, ideally. Um, so I'll check it with my thermopen. I'll let it rest just like you do with normal meats uh, and then we'll be ready to slice. Right, so we've cooked our meat in our pot. We've taken it out, we've let it rest. Uh, it's now at a good temperature, so we're gonna platter it up and make ourselves some barbecue that took an hour. So we'll start off with our beef rib. And we've got our pulled pork. And then we've got our sausage. And then finally, we've got our Creekstone Farms prime brisket. And I'll put a link to the video above where you can see me cook this. There we go, we've got our brisket, we've got our sausage, we've got our pulled pork, we've got our beef rib, and now I'm just gonna put on some sides, and there we have it. That's my leftover barbecue, sealed in a backpack, cooked in a pot of boiling water, pulled together in about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, and it's all ready to go. You don't need to slave away again over hot fire, or wait for 12 hours while you cook it. 
that is ready to go. So if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Drop a comment below and I'll see you again in a few weeks for another video.